Before we get into this video, just a friendly reminder that I am offering demo reviews, so if you want your demo reviewed once a month, please click the join button on my channel page. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about playing Annie Flash. Now, Annie Flash is basically playing a normal angle that's very commonly flash before people entering into it, and just looking at the wall. So if somebody does flash, you don't get blind, all right? Now, this is a very risky play, as obviously you're looking at a wall, all right? You're waiting for the flash to come in before you peek, and you're really banking on the enemy team throwing a flashbang before they even peek this. So if they just dry peek this, they jiggle this, and they see you just looking at the wall, that's a free kill for them. You're assuming and hoping that they throw some sort of normal flash in for their teammates so they can come and entry out. Now, in higher level games... Uh, whether it's an ESA league or pro games, uh, this is very common that team will well a team will flash to like top mid before they peek it. In pugs, lower level games, even lower lower level team play, it's not going to be that common. You're going to have somebody that just runs up here, smokes this, and maybe swings out, or even just swings out without a smoke down. You know, they're just jiggling this for some sort of information and just. You know, going for the going for the basic entry play. So a way to get around this in mid to lower level games where somebody could just walk out without a flash is to do it paired with a teammate. So the way that you would pair this with a teammate, alright, is if I'm playing my normal spot here like I should at the beginning of the video, where the flash comes in, alright, I'm just staring at the wall so I don't get blinded by it. Because obviously, you know, if I was standing right here and the flash came in, I'd be full blind, alright? is have my teammate set up right here, maybe with an op, maybe with another rifle or something, okay? But just post it right here, so if they do just dry peek this, without any utility or anything that's a dry peek, if they do that, they either shoot and miss, and then I can just easily flick over and get the kill, because the guy is probably going to be looking right here, since he just got shot from right there. Um, or, they shoot and kill, and my position is not given up, alright? My position is still unknown to the other team. Now, there are a lot of different places where you can run this strat, okay? And not all of them require you to be like 100% looking at the wall. Most of them require you to really just be ready for a flash to come in um, while being paired with another teammate, alright? So, it's going to be a very rare occasion when you're actually just like staring at a wall. Um, the only times that I can really think of when you are just going to be looking directly at a wall is when you're waiting for a teammate to flash over. So this is a normal play, all right, where a teammate will throw this flash and flash you into peeking car, all right? So you can stay right here, but you're going to be pre-aiming at this wall, all right? It's more, it's not so much of not getting blinded by the flash since the flash pops right there, okay? But it's more pre-aiming. There's also, you know, standing half wall here and getting ready to peek down car or banana. So throwing a flash like this, you would want to be staring at the wall here or even throwing a flash over, um, just the normal running backwards kind of flash, something like that. You're going to want to be staring at the wall, waiting for it to pop, and then you're swinging out. But that's, again, more of you're just pre-aiming the angle, okay? So the setup here would be maybe you're right here, crosshair, very, very close to this angle. Normally, if you were to hold this, maybe let's say you have a Mag 7 or something. I can't buy a Mag 7, all right? Or you're on pistol. Um, you're going to be holding it wide like this because when the T's swing out, all right, they're not going to jiggle it right here. Your reaction time is not this good. You're going to be holding it a bit off. Okay. But in this case, you're going to be very close. So if they do flash and you can kind of see it come over in the sky or right here, you can quickly turn. Or if they do swing out, you can quickly turn. But this would, playing right there would probably be um, doubled with a teammate playing sandbags around this area or even right here. Or even like head down car where it's a double bait setup. Um, and you'll probably be first contact in that bait setup, but then this guy can easily just get that trade or even double up on the kill with you. Neither of you dying. 
going into an anti flash setup right off the bat, right off the start of the round, probably isn't the best idea. Um, you're going to want to pull this off when you know that they're executing the site. If they're just doing a default, it's way too risky. Again, unless you're doubled up with a teammate, like I had said, it's way too risky just to do this solo. Times where you can really do it solo well, all right, would be, let's say that they smoke off porch, they smoke off arch, all right, and you know that they're in top mid. A good idea would be to play, like, right here. So if they do come out, and they flash, just a normal top mid flash. They probably wouldn't even flash this, since they're already out there. But let's just say they do. Or maybe it's a pistol round, and a strat would be, you know, you smoke port side, you smoke arch side, and then you flash through port side, and everybody bursts through it. Okay, something like that. Playing any flash here, when you know that they are coming, is not a bad idea in the slightest. It also does hide your gun barrel in this tucked area, so it's a little bit more difficult for the T's to see you. This spot isn't like super invisible for the T's to see you. It is still very easy. Um, but once again, you're not going to be playing any flash all that often. This is more of maybe, maybe once a game type of thing. Uh, especially if you're in the medium to lower level. All right? Higher levels, when there's actually setups going on and you're on a team and the whole CT side's properly set up, that's when you can start doing it. Or maybe if you're on T side and you know that they're going to have some sort of tendencies, like taking banana control here, you're on the T side, you might want to play here because you know that they're probably going to flash over um, to peak cars, so maybe a flash up in the air like this. That's not going to blind you if you're playing any flash. Um, but if you're peeked out right here, it's going to clip you. Oh, I didn't even press it. It's going to clip you like that. So knowing that, like, hey, they've, they've taken banana control for, like, the past three rounds, I'm going to try to get, get up there, but then you wait for the utility. So, once again, you're not going to be doing all, well, this all that often, um, but it is good to know how to do and when to do it. So thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good day, and I will see you next time.